Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your orthodontic practice production pearl of the week. I wanna go back with internal marketing to a very, very simple area, your website. We are actually finding more and more new clients who have mistakes on their website, even one recently that had the wrong address, uh, even though they had moved. We've seen wrong phone numbers. Now, you know these basics. Get the basics right, enough said, let's move on. First of all, you need a new patient section on your website, somewhere where they can go that's just for them, where they can learn about being a patient in your practice. And you wanna make your practice sound world-class. You don't wanna mislead, you don't wanna misrepresent, but if you can't make your practice sound world-class, then you better go back and get a world-class practice going and then make it sound world-class on your website. Really, really important. The website needs to flow smoothly. Websites sometimes are just too difficult. I know that I, I buy a lot of things online. I love to buy online. Amazon's one of the greatest time savers and easiest experience you can ever have. But sometimes there are things I wanna buy that you can't get on Amazon. So I go to the site, I, I can afford it, I'm ready to buy stuff, and the site is just too hard. Getting from one place to another, filling in the information, getting kicked out of the information. Do they take the right payment methods? If it's difficult enough, I'm out. I don't buy because most things we don't need anymore. We just want. So the truth is that if it, you make it hard enough, I'm just going to go away. I might buy it somewhere else. I might never buy it, but that company isn't getting my purchase. Same thing for you. How many patients come to your website and never make a decision to call your practice or come in for a consult? We can't measure it, but it's probably more than you think. So make sure your website is up to date, that it's sharp, that it's engaging. And here's one more thing, benefit statements. You need benefit statements all over your website. Now, a lot of the web developers will put the content, but they don't understand the website is about starting a relationship. We are starting a relationship. Why would that patient want to have a relationship with you and your orthodontic practice? And the answer is benefits. Go to your website, nobody's ever told you this before, and count the benefit statements. Simply saying the doctor went to dental school and an orthodontic residency is not a benefit statement. Simply saying this person is the assistant is not a benefit statement. What are the benefit statements? Why do I want to be in this practice? What makes you great, leading edge, technologically advanced, fantastic outcomes, great hours, reasonable payment methods? What are the benefit statements? Count them up. And if you don't count 15 to 20 benefit statements on your website, you probably want to go back and retrofit your website or ask yourself the question, do I need a new website? As always, I wish you increased practice production and referrals every year, and I'll see you next week.